hello everybody um, today we're going to do some cinch share training okay now a lot of you have been using cinch share some of you have jumped the board with me we did visly for a while but cinch share is what i keep coming back to and i'm going to kind of walk through cinch share for some of you who do not understand it or maybe what you're even looking for in cinch share okay so here is the what we need to know this is your basically your landing page on cinch share when you sign up now if you don't have a code get with me because you can get for 37 days free and I can actually give you a link that you can get um, for Cinch Share. It costs you $10 a month. You can do unlimited amount of posting, unlimited amount of groups. There's no limit to it at all. Okay, so here's how we're going to work with this. Here is your schedule post. This is the page that we're on currently and yeah, we're going to cancel that. It's going to show you all the, um, the things that are scheduled to be posted and so on and so forth. All right, well, if you look here, here is the circle here. This is going to be your My Network. So if you have a group created on Facebook, so you've already went inside and you have created your group, then you're going to be getting this um, window here on the left-hand side. It's going to show you absolutely all of your groups, okay? Now, as of August 1, Facebook changed the way that they were allowing third-party tester or third-party posters to be able to... Uh, post into the um, the group. I'm about to change careers there for a second. So you can see like Alicia Fredula's here. It has a broken heart, which means that I have to um, perform some type of action for it to be able to be posted into Facebook. Okay. Well, this is what I have to do. So I have to go into Facebook and I have to find Alicia's group. So let's find Alicia. And here is her group. All right, this is what we're going to do. And we're going to open it up. Okay, so I have to go into the settings of the group. So we're going to go into more. We have to go in there and we have to edit group settings, okay? Now, for you to be able to use a, a program like SenseShare to be able to post into your groups, you have to add an app. So you're going to go into more, into settings, you're going to scroll down, and you're going to add add apps, okay? So now this is where you're going to have to choose the app that you want to use for all of your postings into the party. You can see there are tons and tons of third-party posting apps out there. The app that we're going to be choosing is going to be SendShare. So we'll find SendShare right here. Now, if you're also using Canva, which is a app that's inside of SenseShare and it's free to you for like making graphics and everything like that, you'd also want to click onto that too. So we're going to click into SenseShare and then it's going to go ahead and it's going to ask me if I want to add it. Yes. And if you're using Visly or if you're using any other um, third party app, it will also go ahead and do that too. So you've added SenseShare and now you're good to go. So now if we come back to SenseShare, we're going to, you can see that Alicia had a broken heart. So we're going to refresh it. So it takes just a few seconds to release, refresh it. And now if I wanted to post, I can click on this and I can connect it to a group. But I want me to do that right quick. Um, wonder why we had to go back here. Evidently, it did not take it while ago. So let's try that again. I did not hit save. That was my fault. So make sure you hit save. So let's go back down here. Let's find Cinch Share again. There you go. There's Cinch Share. It's going to add it again. Done. Come down. Hit save. Okay. If you don't hit save, it's not going to work. Obviously, you can see that because it came right back to it. So hit save. Okay, so now we're going to go back to send share. Let's X out of this. Let's refresh your screen again. You want to refresh your screen every time um, to make sure that it will go ahead and pull up all of your groups. Okay. All right. Now you can see Alicia has a full heart. That's going to allow me to click on that. And when I do, it's going to turn the heart black. And that means that it's going to start showing up into the um, posting side of it but at this particular point I really don't want Alicia on there I just wanted to show you how that would be so I'm just going to take Alicia back off and then I'm going to come back here to my posting schedule post 
because these are the shows that I'm currently working with. So I go in and I select only the groups that I'm working with at that particular time. So this particular week, I was working with these groups here. Now you see the basketballs that are next to each one of those, or they're a different one. I do that so that I know what parties are running exactly the same time. And then I know that everything that's being with the basketball, every exactly the same thing is being posted. So if you come back to Alicia's app, you can change that by changing this right here. You can come in here and you can choose whichever one of these little pretty icons you would like to have next to her name. Here's a broken heart. So you come back down, you hit save. And so the next time that I would go back into it, when I go back into SendShare and I come back over here to my networks again, which is this little circle with all the little dots in it. So click on my circle. And I'm going to go ahead and re refresh my screen. Now you can see that Alicia has a broken heart next to her name. So that when I start to go through here and choose which groups I'm going to be working with this week, I'm going to be looking for the ones that all have the same icons, okay? So that particular week, I was looking with all these that had the basketballs, okay? That was the groups that I was working with this past week. And you can see that I also have a black heart next to each one of them. And when I put that black heart there, that is when it comes back over here on this first screen. And it allows me to know that only those shows are the ones that I'm going to be currently working with. So here we come back to this particular screen. And you can see here we have the basketball with my five shows, okay? All right, so then another thing that I have started using is text clips, okay? Now, a text clip is something that you can put into every single post that you want to. You can do it several different ways. You can make text clips for each individual product. You can make text clips just for your host. Let me show you what I'm doing with text clips. With the text clips, I am going here and I create a new text clip right here. Actually, what I do is I have four or five of these already created, as you can see. And then each time I, or each week I start a new party, I just go in and edit it. So I would come in and edit. I would change it to the whatever name that I wanted to. You can see it also has the link to order is, and so I put the link to Leela's party. And then I also put the link to the catalog. So here's a link to the catalog, and I hit save. So when I use a text clip, it's going to post this in every single posting that I put with SendShare. So let me show you what that would look like. So if I come back over here to make a post, and let's say I wanted to put, oh, what is for supper? I can type that and then come down here and if I want to put a text clip into it, I want to do it Leela. So I choose Leela's name and then it automatically tells everybody that the link to order is this and the link to the catalog is this. And then I come over here to Leela's name. I find it. I can choose what date and time that I want it to be scheduled as well as I can choose any type of a um, um, time zone that I also want it to be posted in as well. And you can also go in and choose a file. So let's just throw something in here. Here's a tomato knife. So you can throw that in there too. Or you can go to YouTube and you can post in a link right here. So let me show you how you would post a YouTube link, okay? Uh, let's just go right here to YouTube. Okay, so let's say that you wanted to, I have a, actually Pampered Chef subscription right here where I keep all of my Pampered Chef videos so that they're really easy to access and I can get them very quickly. So let's find something here that we want to look at. Let's say a chicken broccoli salad, okay? If we come back here, I'm going to come up here, I'm going to control copy and then I'm just going to go ahead and hit this pause. You don't need to hear all the music. We're going to come back to send share and I'm going to put it right here, control V, and then you want to hit this little link button right here and hit link. And when you do that, that's going to put your video into there and it's also going to show up on your screen. So you now can see that it has a link to the barbecue chicken chop salad. And also, so when we post this, it's going to show the link to order as well as it's going to show the link to the product. Let me show you what one of those posts would look like. So if I come back to discussion here, on Leela's party, you can see, um, let's find a different one. Okay. 
Um, rolling through some of my shows here. Okay. Every time that I post something in Le um, Alicia's party, it had a link to the catalog as well as it had a link to order. This is going to prevent people from saying, how do I order? How do I find a link to the catalog? You're going to have it in absolutely every single post that you do with SendShare. So that would be how you could do that. And you would just hit schedule post and then it wouldn't you do that. Let's choose it for way out here. And that way I can cancel it. Hit schedule post. Okay, so it's going to come and it's going to show up over here. Now let's say that I wanted exactly the same post for Kathy Boland's party. I can come back in here and I can hit copy post. It's going to throw all the same information back over here. And then I can just erase this. Come back here and choose Kathy Boland as a text clip. And then it has all of Kathy Boland's information in here. Change it down here. Hit Kathy Boland right here and then schedule post. And now I have two different parties ready to rock and roll with they both have the text to order as well as a catalog. And you can just keep doing that from every one of them. And so now I'll just say decided now that I don't want to do that. And let's just do something else. Let's add another one just because I want to show you something different. So let's throw this in here. This is just something random. We're going to throw this in here. We're going to do it with Kathy Bolin. Oh, at 6.40, 6.14, schedule post. And it's going to show up over here. And so now I want to see everything that is being scheduled is right here. I can choose by either most recent or scheduled date. At this particular thing, time, nothing's really going to change. But I want to see everything that's being cat, scheduled for Kathy Bolin. So I can choose her name and it's going to show me the posts that are going to Kathy Bolin. Or I can choose Leela Evans and it's going to show me everything that's currently being posted for Leela Evans. And if I get rid of the X, well, then it's going to show me everything that's being posted for everything that I have scheduled. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this so that it doesn't show up. Otherwise, my host will be going, I thought this party was over with. So we're going to get rid of this one. And we're going to get rid of this one, too. Okay, so now it's a little bit about text clips and how you can use them. Now, this is the posting library. This is where you're going to find all of your history. And so anything that you have posted in the past or whatever, you can choose by detailed wording. You can choose by, uh, you know, a previous party, whatever you want. So let's say I wanted to talk about, um, let's say, POTS. So if I would click on POTS and then hit enter, it's going to show every posting that has the word POTS in it that I have used. And so you can see that I post several things about the same thing over and over again. And I just basically reuse them into my next show. So let's say I wanted to use this particular post here of May 25th. All I have to do is hit the little repost button. I can come back over here. It's going to bring back everything that I just had previously on that post. Now you can also see that I've recycled this. And so it has a link to Becky's party, which Becky was a Post back in May. So you're going to want to delete that. You're going to want to choose a new text clip. Let's do Sandra this time. And it's going to put the link order and the catalog. We'll choose Sandra. And then we would come back over here and choose a date. And then we would schedule our post. So we can come back over here and schedule it. And so when you do that, it's going to ask you, do you want to return to the posting library? So if you say yes, it's going to bring you back to where you were before. So we're going to come back. It still has the pots up there as far as a choice of where we went. Now we can also go through here and you can choose several different things. Let's get rid of pots. Let's say that I wanted to look at any one of my previous parties that I had, okay? Anytime I've ever um, posted anything with SendShare, it keeps a record of them all. So let's say I wanted to go to a show that was way back. Oh, let's see here. Becky Franklin. Let's go to her party. I can actually take her complete party and I can come over here and I can do, um, let's go ahead and let's sort ascending so that we can change our post up from the beginning to the end. 
This is everything that I posted on Becky's party for that particular time when we did her show. So you can see all my different posts and everything that I did. Now I can come up here and I can hit this little button right here and this is going to be batch post. But first of all, I want to use the, exactly the same format, exactly the same postings. So I can hit select all and you can see it put a check mark by every single one of them. Okay, this has all my games. It has absolutely everything. My only thing is I need to make sure of what time I'm starting. So I'm starting at 8, 11 in the morning. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to hit batch post. I have 60, no, I have 50 different items that I bet that I had posted in her party from start to finish. So we're going to hit a batch post. And in a second, it's going to catch up with us. There we go. Okay, so if I wanted to start this party on August the 15th, I would choose my time to start at 8, 11 a.m. And then I would apply interval. And if I do not change it, it's going to keep exactly the same interval that I had exactly for Becky's party. So you can see here at 8 o'clock, I play a game every night at 8 o'clock. So the next time the next game comes around, here it is at 8 o'clock again. And so it keeps all of my postings in exactly the same time frame in exactly the same order. And then I just choose whose name I wanted to go underneath of, and I hit schedule batch. And it's going to throw everything back into this category over here where you can see all your scheduled posts. I will just show you how that works. So I can come over here and I can hit schedule batch. But before I do that, let's say that I didn't like the way that that was worded. So I can come over here and it's going to show all of my different posts and I can move this and I can move this one over here and I can move this one Oops, I can move this one over here and it has all the different ones and let's say I wanted this one down here and so then when I hit done come back up at the top and hit X out of it now you can see it moved all my postings around so they're not in exactly the same order as that they were before because I physically went in there and moved them. And you can actually replace text too. So let's say you wanted to find the word, um, oh, I don't know. Let's find a word that we wanted to replace. Um, let's just do the word aloud. Find the word aloud and replace it with can do and then search. So it's going to find every post with the word allowed and then it's going to turn around and it's going to change it with the word can do. So here it was allowed, change to can do. So you can change simple wording like that as well. It's very simple to change something. So if you had a host name, for example, and your host name was Jennifer, you can now change it to Fred, whatever your situation would be. And then it would automatically go through and it would change all of your postings for everything that you had. So if you called your host out by name on every single post, you could at least easily change that up. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead, we're going to schedule batch. And I'm going to show you what it's going to do on the other end. Okay, so we're going to come back to this particular one right here. And you can see all of these postings are now all set up for Courtney. Okay, so we check with Courtney and all the posts are right there. And you can do batch posts to several different parties, but remember when you're doing that, if you have text links in there, you have to go back in there and fix them up. So now we're going to go back in here, we're going to have to edit. And we're going to have to come back in here. Well, that one didn't have one, so we can cancel that one. But this one, edit. Okay, so here we have a text link. Um, this would be for a different person's party, Becky's party. So we'd have to come back in here. We would have to delete it. Come back up, choose our text clip for Courtney, and then reapply that. And then Courtney's information is going to be there and then you just schedule post. So you want to make sure you do that 
on every single one. Okay, so now we have all these posts that are coming through here. You can go through them and you can edit them and delete them one by one, or you can come back over here to this, back to um, where you find all your, your posting library. I can choose Courtney's name underneath pending. So here we're gonna to go to our pending post right here. And so I can see all of my pending posts. Oh, we gotta get rid of this first. Because I didn't have any pending posts with Becky. Okay, so here's my pending post. I have all of these going on. And I don't really want any of these posts to be um, doing it. So I can choose one or two if I wanted to. Let's say I don't want these three to go. I can come over here and then I can delete. Okay, so yes, let's go ahead and delete them. And there was another feature too here in the post and delete it. But let's say that I wanted to, um, okay, let's, first of all, let's select about five posts here. I'm just going to show you something. So let's say that I wanted these to post a little bit earlier. I can time shift them as well. So these three particular posts, let's say that I wanted to add, uh, no, let's say I want to subtract 65 minutes. I want them to post quicker and I want to change the time zone. Let's say I wanted to post them in Alaska. Let's hit apply. So now it's going to go ahead and adjust all of my postings and it's going to update them as well. So I would hit update and it would adjust all of their times to be a little bit quicker as well. But let's say in the end, so here's, you can actually view it that direction as well. It's just very easy to play with it. There's nothing you can do by just clicking on um, the button here. You can actually pull up the whole screen so let's say that you wanted to schedule multi, oh, there it goes, see, I have a delayed reaction here, okay. Schedule multi-photos. This is something that's currently not working with SendShare um, because of the way that Facebook has changed some of their algorithms. So unfortunately, you can only post one picture at a time into your product pros. Normally, you would be able to, but because of it, you can post it, but then SendShare cannot post it to your Facebook group because Facebook itself at this time is not allowing multiple photos, okay? So that's not going to work. But you can come over here and you can delete your post. You can select them. You can do sorting, descending. You can copy them. You can time shift them. You can batch post them. You can do whatever you want to. You can come back into this box right here and you can actually see all your posts. And then you can take them and you can... Um, um actually you cannot move them around i was thinking at one time you i was hoping that oh yeah you could well not really they're not allowing you to move things around too much i would love for you to be able to move things around in this particular situation but it's not you have to actually go in edit it and edit your times and everything else as well but i don't want any of these to post so i'm going to select all of them and then i'm going to come back in and i'm going to hit delete delete all my posts yes now just because I deleted them from here <clears throat> doesn't mean that I can't come back into my history and find them again because if I come back into Becky Franklin once again right here all of those posts are still going to be there um, we're just going to sort of send it again and then you can see that all of the posts are still there so when you delete them off of you know pending post or anything like that, they're still there. You can come back to them time and time again. You can see what's on your timeline. You can see in Facebook groups, you know, what's being posted. Here's all my Facebook groups that I have. I need to, to delete a bunch of groups, girls. Look at that. Whew. It's a lot of groups that I got going on. But anyway, so today was a happy Sunday post. Um, you know, I talked about the kit talked about, you know, um, why you should be a consultant, your earning potential, that I'm looking for people to host a party, just things like that. Okay, and I always do this one too. I've told you time and time again, guys, that how you get bookings is because you make customer care calls. And I call each and every customer that placed an order. And if I um, don't have a phone number for them, I definitely message them. Yes, just yesterday, I booked four parties because I picked up the phone and I called somebody and I talked to them about booking their own party. Nobody and none of these four people had even um, showed any interest in booking their own party. So you definitely want to pick up the phone and you've got to make those calls. There's a user guide, which is right here you, that you can actually ask 
a lot of answers a lot of questions with CentShare as well. They're really pretty good information. Another thing is they have a um, app program called Canva. Canva is a app that you can use to design your own graphics. So you wonder how does people get those graphics designed with the uh, the pasta maker, all those things like that. You can design your own graphics with inside of um, SenseShare. It's a free program to you, okay? So I'll go back to um, schedule a post here. And you can actually design with Canva. You can do a Facebook post, a Facebook app, Instagram post. So let's say you want to do a Facebook post. You just click on it there. Canva is going to open up. And then you can actually go in there and um, design your own graphic. Plus, there is a Canva app as well that you can use it on any smartphone too. So that is just a feature inside of SenseShare that is a great way for you to be making your own graphics and not always using somebody else's graphic too, okay? So just keep that in mind. Canva, to me, sometimes is a little difficult to use. Um, one of the other consultants just used Canva today and made some beautiful graphics. So it just takes a little bit of playing with and getting some used to, okay? And also, if you have new people joining your team, you definitely want to share with them the ambassador link. And anybody can sign up to be an ambassador with SenseShare. And when you do, then this is where you get an affiliate link that you can share with other people. And when I share this link right here, it allows people to sign up. And then SenseShare actually pays me. So you can see here, here is all the time that SenseShare has paid me money for people that have used my link to sign up to sign up for SenseShare. I have four pending referrals right now, and when they have show an active um, subscription, then SendShare pays me $9.95 a month, and so I have two payout dates pending. Actually, I've got one, two, three, four pending payments, and so then they actually pay me money, so it doesn't even cost me anything to have my own SendShare account most of the time. So guys, think about that. It's a great way, and all you have to do is just sign up to be an ambassador. It's free. It's good. All right, I hope this has helped you to navigate through SenseShare. And I, if you have any questions, always definitely reach out. And um, we are a great team, and we can actually want to support each other. So this is just how I do my multiple shows. If it wasn't for SenseShare, honestly, I could not do it alone. Now, you can do scheduling through Facebook. And um, I will show you how to do that just really quickly. If you do not want to pay for an app, you can go through Facebook and you can schedule. So let's say you're into Facebook and you want to schedule a um, something to say. So let's just say, hello, America, whatever. Okay, so then you can come down here and you can actually schedule that. So right here, see the little schedule post? So click on that. And then you can come in here and you can choose a date of when you want it to be scheduled and then you choose the time and then you hit schedule and then it will schedule your post okay so if you don't want to pay for an app like SenseShare then you can actually go in and set up all your posts through Facebook and it will do your posting for you okay guys have a great um, evening and if you have any questions I'm always here for you okay talk to you soon bye